Sea Rockers. Join me today as we make this super duper sparkly seahorse out of crushed glass. Now, let's dive in. Welcome, Sea Rockers. Today, the things you're going to need to make this beautiful glass seahorse is a hammer if you need one, some glass nippers would be helpful, and some really pretty glass. I'm also using a stencil that I printed out. And now let's get started. First step after you've primed and readied your board is just to get that stencil outline on there. And I just traced it right on. Instead of reinventing the wheel, use the internet. Next, I'm taking Liquitex Crackle Paste and I'm going to use this for a little background texture. As much as I love a smooth background, I have such a hard time leaving it that way. So here we are. Crackle Paste, here we go. And here's what a crackle paste looks like after it's all dried. On to my favorite part, which is playing with glass. This particular piece was found at Hobby Lobby and it was a vase that I bought on sale and I liked it because it had kind of scaly, bumpy, patterny things. And same with this one as well. I think those are gonna be perfect for a seahorse. And then there's these that I found at the dollar store. Even though it has seasonal stuff on it, you can just cut around it. But look at those brilliant colors. Before I get started, I want to remind you that when you're working with glass, please make sure and use your safety equipment, whether that be goggles if you don't wear glasses, and some gloves if you're not used to working with glass. And don't be barefoot either. Make sure you have some closed toed shoes on maybe, and uh, careful for the kids and the animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and let you watch the process. And I will see you on the other end of the seahorse. If you're enjoying today's creation, if you wouldn't mind, please splash the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for future postings. Did you know that you can take pouring medium and mix it with some mica powder and you can make your own little pasty paint and not lose the shimmer. Didn't know that. Some good to know. So that shimmer you see in the background is exactly that. Pouring medium and mica powder. But everything is dried, and now I'm going to go ahead and secure the glass pieces with drizzling resin 
I'm using Art Resin today, and I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top, not making any puddles, but just touching every piece of glass. And yes, this is sped up. <laughs> I don't have a caffeine problem. <laughs> And once you get all those pieces touched with the resin, then go ahead and let it dry overnight. Next day, you should be ready to go ahead and put the top layer of resin on. Just make sure you tape everything off you don't want covered in resin. Now we're using art resin again, and now you're just going to put a nice uh, layer onto your background. And if you had any loose pieces that you missed the first time, go ahead and put a little resin on top of those to secure them. Once you feel like you have enough resin on there, then go ahead and take uh, one of your tools, one of your resin tools, and just go ahead and uh, make sure you get it in all the nooks and crannies right up to whatever subject you're doing, whether it's a seahorse or a dog, whatever. Just get it in the nooks and crannies there like I'm doing. Because if you don't and you miss a spot, then it's really obvious. And especially to someone like me who's OCD, and that would drive me bonkers for the rest of my life. And you can tell if you went back in and tried to fix it because it wouldn't match. And on this piece, I am putting resin on the edges. So the, just the bottom is taped off. And once you feel like you got everything covered, go ahead and torch out the bubbles and then cover it and put it to bed. And here's our beautiful sparkly seahorse. I'm fighting with the sun and the clouds to get this video. But anyway, I went ahead and added some little pieces of glass to the back and oh, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at all that shimmer and the sparkling glass and resin. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you were inspired to try some crushed glass art of your own. But please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. But don't forget you can follow me on my other social media platforms. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go beach or go home. Bye.